Welcome back to the channel. Right now we are out here at James River Fishing Pier. It is early March. We're gonna see what we land today. Uh, hopefully something is spawning. Some kind of fish are coming up and everything. I was on a post, a Facebook post, and they said they were catching uh, puppy drums in the area. We might target that. We're gonna put some uh, squid on the line and we're gonna see what we catch today. Enjoy the video. Right here. He's not messing with nobody. Looks like he's waiting for some fish too. Let's park it right here. We are out here. We are out here. Weather is a little bit cold today chilly like in the 50s but uh we're gonna go ahead and see if we can land something out here in this water uh it is early march hey let's see what we catch out here in this month because uh actually it's only me and what i can see is another person all the way down there out here in this uh, water catfish season is about to start up out here we might go for that might go for some catfish but uh we're gonna be using uh, squid today, and I got some uh, blood worms that I had, and um, we're gonna also try to use an artificial plastic bait. Let's see what we catch. Stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead and set this up with this frisky fins again. These frisky fins have been reliable in the past. Uh, that's all it is, is like a floater and a circle hook on the end, but we're gonna go ahead and try to set it up with the frisky fins because if, for some reason the fish, including sharks, are attracted to this you know it just floats and elevates off the bottom so i think that's why the bigger fish they go for this usually bigger fish are not really bottom fingers anyway but we'll go ahead and tie this up and get it going we got a four ounce four ounce weight at the end your frisky fins and some squid let's see cast over there yeah there we go good cast good cast those frisky fins those little floaters on the end uh, they work pretty good for getting the fish attention especially uh, when they're kind of dormant right now possibly All right, let's check on this line. If not, we're gonna cast it over at another spot. Wow. Yeah, this felt my first nibble of the day. The fish are definitely out here. Wow. I think I probably got some up here already. Wow. Okay. Feel like we got something. Our first fish of the year. It's a small one. It's a small one. And it's not. And it felt like something, but. Okay, right now what we're gonna try, we're gonna try this uh, jig head, a little quarter ounce jig head with a paddle tail right here. We're gonna try that. Uh, we're gonna try to either go for trout or puppy drum because uh, I'm seeing the report and it said that uh, there are some out here, but it's like a almost like a hit or miss. And the tide is going out, so we're gonna try over there by the base of the bridge, the bottom over there by structure. See if we can land some over there. All right, got it up there. Let's see. Cats over there. Got it right up under the bridge. Let's 
that's all you gotta do is like roll it in slow. It should do its thing. No jigging required. Roll it in slow. Probably doing its thing right now. No jigging required. Yeah, there you go. I see it. Oh yeah, that paddle tail looks great in the water. It looks great in the water, folks. Oh my gosh, yeah, this might catch the one that I'm looking for. This might catch the one. This is a plastic. It might catch the one. Uh, granted, this really light rods. Oh gosh, it's gonna tore up uh, if it's a massive puppy drum inside of here. Something was on there, but what is that right there? It's like a buoy or something rusted or floated up. I don't know what that is. No, it's going into low tide now. Huh? Low tide. I, don't, I know next week will be better around this time because it'll be going into high tide. Yeah. Huh? What do you say? I'll be working next week. Oh yeah, that sucks, don't it? Yeah. yeah, that's how it works. Next week could be better, cause if around this time it'll be going into high tide. Yeah. Yeah, I looked at a tide map for next week, and around four o'clock it'll be high tide. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, I ain't got nothing better to do anyways. I know. It, it, look at it being relaxing. Yep. <laughs> yeah, midway into it, we are still out here. We haven't even caught a bite yet, not even a nibble. Talked to like uh, two other people and they, they're pretty much still in the same boat with me. Not catching anything. So uh, yeah, that's how it is at the beginning of the fishing season. I mean, this is March. Um, I haven't been out here doing March. I, all the time I've been out here, it was doing like the summer months and the warmer temperatures. And uh, right now it is chilly out here. So um, we use our normal, uh, normal stuff, the frisky fins with the fish bites and the squid. Um, it doesn't matter what you got. You can have uh, shrimp out here. I don't think you're gonna get any nibbles. Yeah, so we got the squid, frisky fins. We're gonna try down here, see if we uh, get a nipple at least. Got some generally in the same spots. 
usually I find over here, when you first walk out here, the right side is the side to use. The right side is usually the side to use. Sometimes uh, the left side is okay, but most of my success came from the right side. I know maybe the water's a little bit deeper, you got more area. Yeah. Okay, that's nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, yeah, we are still out here. Um, we've been out here, it seems like it's about two hours into it. Uh, still no nibbles, no bites. Uh, yeah, this is almost more like a educational tutorial that I'm showing you. Uh, yeah. And so I think the fish are just slow to react because the water is so cold. And, um, that's how it is during a, pretty much the winter. Technically, it still is a winter. Spring won't get here until March 21st. That's two weeks away. And so, that's how it is. Alright. It's coming back. Nope. What about you guys? Nothing, not a bike. Yeah, I'm about to be out too. <laughs> yeah. Do you come here often? Yeah, I got a YouTube. Um, it'll be on my channel if y'all don't mind. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's Jerome Holloway Jr. And um, normally I catch stuff out here, but I didn't catch none today. What do you usually catch out here? Uh, I caught a stingray one time. Spots, croakers, roundheads. Oh, almost everything. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of fish out here. Yeah, we but, figured we get something, but nothing. Nah, you gotta wait till the water warm up just a little bit. Probably sometime in like April or May, you're gonna start. It's gonna start picking up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It was good being out here, though. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Have a good one. All right. All right. Well, that's it for the day. Um, yeah, we. We was out here and uh, we tried several attempts to catch something and everything. Uh, can I get a nibble? Can I get a bite? It is early March and uh, that's how it is. And when it's early March, the fish haven't really started spawning yet. But I uh, talked to those guys, they didn't catch anything. Uh, another gentleman that was earlier here, I think he got bored with it and just left. He didn't catch anything too. Hmm. We'll definitely be back out here again. We're gonna check it out. You know, you know this place, it gets hot when it gets hot. Uh, if you haven't yet, like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Next time we're gonna try again. Until it starts speeding up, fish will be biting. Check you later.